Perhaps the most common way to analyze data in R is to first export it from a database to text files and then import the text files into R. Today we're going to learn how to bring data directly from SQL Server to RStudio using ODBC. The data I'm going to analyze contains lists of names given to American children by their parents since 1910, and it's already in a SQL Server database. If we just look at the top of the table, we can see this data is very detailed. For this exercise, I just want to look at a summary of the table to see the distribution for all births by state. The query to produce the summary data would look like this one. Let's see how we can use this query from R to pull in just the 51 rows we really want directly. First, we need to create an ODBC DSN that R will use to connect to this database. Since I'm using 64-bit R in RStudio, I'll create a 64-bit ODBC DSN as well. I'll name the DSN Demo Data. This is the name R will use to find this DSN later. The description is optional, but the server name is required. The login ID set on the authentication tab won't be saved, but is helpful for testing the connection. Although I'm using a SQL login, integrated authentication is also permitted. When using ODBC from R, be sure to select a specific database in the DSN configuration. Once everything checks out, we can exit the ODBC configuration. Next, I'll launch RStudio. The package we'll use to retrieve data from SQL Server is called RODBC. Note that RODBC isn't installed yet. Click the Install Packages button, enter RODBC in the search field, and then press the Install button. At this point, RStudio will start a process to search the CRAN repository for the RODBC package, download it, validate it, and install it. After the package is installed, we're not quite done. We must manually tick the box next to the RODBC package in the packages list to make it active in our current session. Now we can begin using RODBC to pull datasets directly from SQL Server using any queries we wish. The first statement we'll enter establishes a connection to SQL Server using ODBC. We simply pass the ODBC data source name we created earlier and our login credentials. Now that a connection is open, we can run a query to retrieve data into memory. Here, I'll just paste the same query I wrote earlier. Note in the environment pane, we now have a data set available with 51 rows, which is one row per state, plus the one for the District of Columbia. Finally, we can run a couple quick statistics on the data set just to confirm the data we have is reasonable. A quick summary table and plot show the basic data distribution, and from there we can use any other R commands to further analyze the data set. 